Well, what a sight we have witnessed on August 8th. This has given us that ray of hope amidst the dark cloud that had come over the Indian contingent following the Vinesh Fogart incident. The India men's hockey team have finally won the bronze medal after involved, after being involved in a very high voltage encounter versus Spain. They were down 1-0 thanks to a penalty stroke that they conceded but then bounced back thanks to Harman Preet Singh. Now this journey for the India men's hockey team towards bronze has not been easy. In hockey, it is never easy to do it but India somehow scrapping through have managed to win. Now. You could sense that India were in a very uh, tough campaign right from the very beginning because, because they were pooled in the group of death. Belgium, Australia, New Zealand, Argentina, all the four teams against whom India have struggled in the past. They have been tricky opponents, but Belgium and Australia were going to be their ultimate acid test. The start itself wasn't that auspicious because they were trailing 2-1 versus New Zealand. But then Harman Preet Singh stepped up. Then you look at Abhishek who also stepped up and that is why India somehow they got out of jail by winning 3-2 against the Black Sticks. It seemed like a repeat of Tokyo was on the cards because even in Tokyo, India had a very nervy start. They won 3-2 against New Zealand only to lose 7-1 to Australia in the next game. But here it would almost be similar but with a twist. In the very next game, nine penalty corners were missed. It was on the 10th that Harman Preet Singh finally got it and he scored that goal which ensured India escaped with a 1-1 draw against Argentina. Now remember, in this entire group, Argentina were the most compact team when you looked at the defence. Their defence was incredibly strong. Australia found it out the hard way when they won only 1-0 against the Argentinians. Belgium would also find out later on that not only defence, they can attack also when they drew 3-3 in their group game. So that is why Harman Preet Singh's penalty corner ensured that India escaped with a 1-1 draw. Things started coming into place at this point when the Indian team put on a dominant show against Ireland. Everything clicked for them. The defence worked well, the attack was very good and that is why when you look at it, it has been, it was a good clinical show against Ireland. But Ireland are the weaker team in the group and that's why you expected this performance from India. Then you had some concerns against Belgium, the best team on the planet after the Australians and the Netherlands team. Belgium put on a great show. Abhishek in particular put on a fantastic show when he gave India the lead. PR Srijesh was keeping Alexander Hendricks, one of the best drag flickers in the world, he was keeping him quiet. So many penalty corners were saved by PR Srijesh. It was a wonder that India didn't lose 1-7. But then when you have to look at it, the Belgians mounted their fight back and they won it 2-1 with some wonderful attacking play. The loss against Belgium was the wake-up call because yet again India were found wanting on speed, on defence and their circle penetrations and penalty corner uh, concession was too much at that point. But then came something that added the spark that they needed in the campaign and it was against the Kookaburras. Australia are a team that know the art of destroying an opponent's mindset. Just ask India, this last couple of decades Australia have been their ultimate nightmare. But India turned the tables on the Kookaburras by using their own speed against them. India were fresh off the blocks and they were really attacking. Australia undone by this, they had to scramble back. India won at 3-2 with Harman Preet Singh and Abhishek yet again delivering the goods. The midfield was really looking good with German Preet, Hardik and Mandeep also in the fray. And that is why Srijesh was doing Srijesh things. Australia losing to India for the first time in 52 years. It was an unbelievable sight. Many people thought maybe we'll not see Australia lose to India in this uh, decade. Now Australia beat India after Australia lost to India after 52 years. It was a phenomenal achievement that added the spark. But perhaps their greatest game in the Paris Olympics, the quarterfinals versus Great Britain. Amit Rohidas was sent off when he had given he was given the red card because admitted it was a red card. There is no way it can be disputed. So 
England were playing with one man additional. You can say two men additional for a couple of minutes in that match. But India put on a defensive masterclass. Something that Craig Fulton had always emphasized on. Fulton managed to ensure that the defense peaked at the right time. German Preet Singh and Srijesh. Srijesh was at his absolute best at this game. And despite being 1-1, India won 4-2 on penalties and it was truly one of the most emotional matches that one can encounter. It was a roller coaster that ensured that yes, India have the capability to go ahead. They had lost in the World Cup uh, pre-quarter final to New Zealand on a penalty shootout. One demon was exercised in that way that they could win it in a penalty shootout. But then the unfortunate thing happened. The tables were turned. Germany looked far more determined against India. 2-1 up, 2-2. The fourth quarter saw Germany really pushing India's defense and they crumbled in a bit way. But still, India had belief in Srijesh. He kept them at bay for 54 minutes. But Miltosh, just understand the name. I'll be doing a special video on that also. How a deflection from Miltosh ensured that Germany would get the lead with just five minutes to go. And there was a real point blank attempt to equalize. Shamsher tried it, but then it went just over the post. And India agonizingly were denied gold and silver. It was a body blow because we expected the score to at least ensure they got to the final and why for the gold. We had that much of confidence. But unfortunately, the 3-2 loss meant that you had to play Spain in the bronze medal playoff. Spain were 1-0 up, but Harman Preet Singh's two penalty corners ensured that India would get the bronze. Their fourth bronze medal in the Paris Olympics and the celebrations that came afterwards was indeed a sight. It was truly a remarkable achievement what India had achieved, considering their build-up was not so great. Sure, they won the Asian Champions Trophy, they won the Asian Games, they lost the World Cup in the pre-quarter final. And here, they had lost seven games to Australia and had not done very consistently in the FIH Pro League also. But now, India are the bronze medalist for the fourth time. They have increased their tally to 13. India now have four medals in the Paris Olympics with hopefully two more to come in the coming days. Thank you so much folks for joining us for this video. Subscribe to Sports Today for all the latest news and analysis.